God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. Can you chill for two secs? We go in, we talk, we leave. That's it. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now that A.B. has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. 
This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on. Talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So... Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know, and that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as... You will see. Offer's intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, yeah. It's just dumb. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries. About that. You could use some air. Right now. some pseudo endo Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Yeah? 
How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Socket Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. Hanako's offer's on the table. I'm sorry. Whose? Oh, cut the crap. She actually has power. Could be our ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket to the city morgue. That Sokka cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen. I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now and her name is Rogue. Gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I make the calls. Not this time. Uh, Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you're checking out again? Sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like. Someone's using your head as a knife block? How. How'd I get here? Drags yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Dalman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. Come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah! Just slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Something to say, Vic. Just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. 
You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo endo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. What? Out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey, V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy... For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on.
they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be! Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. See that? Air. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then he tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. It's worth taking a chance in Arisaka. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finer traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Just... Hold on a minute. Need to think. Worth taking a chance in Arisaka. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finer traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Yeah, just don't freak out. Honestly, couldn't give a gnat shit. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just wanna be there for it. Where? See you 
inside Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. At last. Your offer, I accept. You took your time. In the interim, Yorinobu has made his move. What do you mean? My brother has made me his guest at his residence in North Oak. Locked you in? Yes. His people watch over me for my safety. Think Yorinobu knows? Many things might have raised his suspicions. I do not see any other reason for him to hold me here. Yeah? Well, I'll get you out. Can be pretty persuasive. I thank you. Where are you? At Victor's, my ripper dock, back behind a small shop called Misty's Esoterica. I will send someone for you. They will drive you to the residence. Then we shall visit my brother together at Arasaka Tower. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The Devil. Got another deck lying around? A cheerful one? This is no joke, V. An inverted devil symbolizes subjugation. Losing control. Aggression. Evil. A power struggle. Whatever you're planning, treat this as a warning. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. 
Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. I think that's for you. Wait, is that... an Arasaka stretch? That's right. But... V... They killed Jackie and... And now you're working for them? You still don't get it, do you? Jackie died because... We made a terrible fucking decision. And the rest... Just plain consequences. The cards weren't lying. You've changed. And my senses tell me it's for the worse. V, it's good to meet again. You look... like shit. Compared to you, I do. You look good. I am back in graces. As you say, no more hiding in filth, no more second rate food. We should go. Wait a minute. When we last saw one another, we spoke of a construct in your head that could influence your decision making. The same construct that, in its former life, detonated two nuclear warheads inside Arisaka Tower. And now you and this construct have volunteered to sort out things in Arisaka. What is this about? Has no one told you? Shame. The engram inside is Johnny fucking Silverhand. Recognize the name? The terrorist? Yes. But he's suppressed now. With beta blockers. But before I did that, he warned me against working with Arasaka. So tuck your suspicions where the sun don't shine before I start regretting not taking his advice. That is enough for me. Let us go to the car. Hanako-sama is waiting. He may be satisfied. I will be watching you. We are almost there. Why has she not called? Hanako-sama, they may have cut communication at the residence. Something has gone wrong. Reckless driving will not improve the situation. I'm not your bloody chauffeur! I didn't agree to this. None of us did, matter of fact. You are awake. Don't remember conking out. Eyes open now. We'll arrive shortly. Weapons are dead already. Are you mad? We must act natural. Just... Everyone be still and calm, and this will all go smoothly. Is everything in order? No one is allowed onto the estate. Uh Jesus Christ! Efficient, effective, good work. Blast it all! What now? They won't let us anywhere near her. We are not here to ask anyone's permission. Hellman, go and bring the AV here. Things will get very messy soon. B, you will come with me. I am in the bedroom in the central part of the building. Anders, you get the AV. But first, we must neutralize the four guards. Takemura, V, is your task clear? Uh-huh. We neutralize. 
I will obstruct their communications so that no support arrives. We will take the left side through the garden. <laughs> 